What's going on people, it is Irish Connor HD here, you can call me Irish and Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays or whatever it is that you celebrate. Um, basically today I wanted to make a very short video where I essentially just wish you guys a, a good holiday season. Um, I hope you've had a good day or had a good day or going to have a good day depending on where your time zone is. But uh, yeah, so basically I wanted to, what, what you're watching in the background basically or in the on the main screen um, is my PC so I want to talk a little bit about the, the kind of PC upgrades that I got since that was a uh, That was a big part of why the channel was so slow and it's a big part of the updates and all that have been coming Um was just a, was just being a PC gamer not having a lot of money It was kind of it was kind of hard to keep the PC up to the latest spec, but um Thankfully, I was able to get a job. I was able to afford the parts that I needed. So again, I just wanted to run you through them now in case anyone was wondering. I did update the uh, the specs on my About Me page. If you didn't know, the About Me section has my full list of PC specs. If you wanted to have a look for it um, to, see, to see, just to see for yourself basically in text. But I'm just basically going to tell you now. So what I already had was a Bit Phoenix, Bit Phoenix uh, Merc Beta case. So like not the one with the CPU mounts or with the fan mounts and the, at the top and stuff like that. The, the, the kind of second tier one. Um, I already had an ASRock Pro 3 Z77 motherboard, um, I've kept that, I've kept two of those. I already had a 1TB Western Digital Caviar Black hard drive, um, again I've kept that. And I also had um, a Intel Core i5 3570K clocked with the stock, with, with the stock clock, um, the stock cooler at like 3.2 GHz or whatever it was. Um, so basically the upgrades, oh, oh, and I, I had got a um, ASUS in, uh, NVIDIA GTX 650 Ti and basically the upgrades that I got for myself was, um, and again an ASUS, I stuck with ASUS, um, Strix uh, GTX 970, so really really good card, definitely recommend one if you're, if you're kind of looking for a new card and you have about 300 euros, 350 euros to spare. Cannot recommend it highly enough, it's an absolute beast for how much it costs. Considering the 980 is like 500 and you can talk like you can overclock this, this is 970 which i haven't done personally yet and um, you can overclock it to basically match the, the the specs of like a reference 980 absolutely beast um yeah but that was the first thing then i got the um samsung uh, evo 250 evo 250 gigabyte what's what's the full name samsung evo Whatever it is, uh, two, two, 250 gigabyte SSD, which I installed Windows onto, Battlefield 4, Titanfall, I think is on there, um, and Battlefield 3 as well. So the most played games, the most played multiplayer games that will take advantage of that I've installed to uh, to the SSD. I also got a one ter a second one terabyte um, Western Digital Caviar Black. So now I've got one, I've got one hard drive for my gaming games programs and stuff. Um, and my game videos, some my recordings, and I've got one pro uh, one hard drive just for programs. That's just only kind of executables for the likes of I don't Audacity or not Steam really, but um, other Origin games or whatever like that. But like what just basically programs that I don't want on the SSD, like Photoshop or whatever. Um, yeah, like they are they they'll go on the that the the original SSD which I formatted. Um, and as well as films and books and or books and films and like music and stuff like that goes on that, that original drive. Then lastly, well, the, the most recent thing that I picked up, well two things really, I got the CM Storm Quickfire TK Cherry MX Blue keyboard, which I'll kind of cut in some footage of that as well. Um, yeah, that's a really, really nice keyboard. Really solidly built, lovely uh, Cherry MX keys. I've never tried, I've never had a mechanical keyboard before. I've always been on Memorane and I've heard all kinds of things about the advantages and disadvantages of the MX Blue keys. And I have to say, they're not as loud as people make them out to be and they are as like nice feeling. Like when I go back into work and I'm using the horrible like normal Membrane keyboard, it just doesn't cut it. So I definitely recommend. For the price, it's incredible. Um, the, the like the size of it is perfect because I don't have a lot of space for it, so it's it's pretty awesome. The only thing I don't like is the fact that the numbers to, to basically to make it so small, they put the 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 up down left right arrows and the like delete end and uh, what's that one page up and page down and that kind of thing. They gave them like a function button to put them on the keypad, so it's a little bit awkward for if you use the those different buttons a lot. And um, but other than that, it's absolutely fantastic. And then finally, uh, the most recent thing, well, as I was going to say, was the uh, the Cooler Master as well, uh, Hyper 212 Evo uh, CPU cooler, which I had a lot of worries about it fitting in. I wasn't sure if it was going to fit in or not. Fit in perfectly, absolutely flawlessly. It took a little bit of fidgeting to get it into place. It, it took me about an hour to install it. But once I did, absolutely flawless. Um, passed, again, like overclocked it, 
I've overclocked my CPU now from the original 3.4 GHz, it's now stable at 4.2. I can't remember the volts, but it's like 1.872 volts or something like that. Really not that crazy at all, um, which is really cool. So again, massive performance from the graphics card, massive performance from the, from this, uh, from the CPU. I've spent a lot of money uh, between the original build and the current build, but in terms of like what I've gotten out of it and what I will get out of it, absolutely worth every single penny. Um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else? No, that, that is about it. Other than just say happy happy Christmas to let you know what the deal is on the on the computer. As far as I know, it's finally... Oh yeah, I also got the uh, the, the adapter for, for this bad boy. Again, I've mentioned this kind of stuff in, the, in, the, in one of my last Battlefield videos, but just, again, being the day that's in it, I thought I'd make a kind of a vlog. Um, and yes, so if I had some kind of party... Thing <laughs> I would, but happy Christmas, guys! I hope you enjoy your day. I hope you enjoy your time off work or time off school or whatever it is. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, please do leave a thumbs up or thumbs down. If you didn't, if I thought I was being annoying, thanks for watching and goodbye.